Well, what's going on guys? So this week I worked on improving and simplifying my equipment system. I added a live item preview, player preview, as well as functionality to drop and pick up items. My previous equipment system worked at a small scale by simply enabling and disabling game objects. However, as I began adding more hairstyles, equipment, and clothing, I realized this wouldn't be feasible for the, for the long term. Now I revamped the system to equip gear simply through item info, basically the mesh, material, and color. In addition, I'm now using separate bones, for example, headwear, so all mesh can have the same origin and only change location during player animations. This will allow me to add more fun animations too, such as hats bouncing a bit while running or hair swaying as well. Storing information in this way is also important, as now I could use the same mesh for equipment as well as for item pickups, which I couldn't do before, and decide which mesh, materials, and color the item pickup will have. This is even more critical for RNG type items that will drop with randomly generated mesh, affixes, rarities, material types, and more. For example, the mage hat may drop as a random item called mage hat of intellect. Instead of blue, it could be red or yellow. And when it's dropped and picked up again, it much must have the same stored information somewhere. And now this actually also works well with my new item preview when viewing inventory items. Originally, I planned to just use sprites from my item display, but then I learned you could render live camera feeds on the UI. After working through issues of separate lighting and culling layers on cameras, I was able to come up with a system that renders a 3D auto-rotating model of the active item. Even better, this script is only enabled through an event system, which triggers upon opening and closing of the inventory UI. Once you press equip, the gear now shows up on the player and the player preview. So for the player preview, I handled it very similar to the item preview, except that I'm not changing any mesh. It's just the player that you see there, which is some different lighting. I was originally going to use the main lighting, but at night, and if the player enters darker areas such as a cave, the lighting gets darker and it really becomes hard to see the, the player in the UI. So what I did was make separate lighting for the whole world, like the main lighting, and then disable that when the inventory is open, and then change it to a, uh, a different spotlight that goes over the character. So even when you rotate it, it all looks uh, evenly lighted. So in conclusion, I simplified my equipment system to pull all necessary information from a scriptal object type item. With information such as mesh materials and colors, I can now simply update the mesh renderer to equip any type of gear on the character. In addition, this item information is now used to preview items, as well as create item pickups that look exactly like the ones equipped. So for next week, I'll be working on the functionality of my player interaction to ensure it only triggers with interactables. These include, let's say, NPCs, chests, doors, item pickups, signs, storage, and more. Right now I have a system that works, but it's like 500 plus lines of if and then, if then statements. Um, my goal is to simplify and allow for easy scalability of more interactable types for the future. So thanks for watching, and, and as always, uh, feel free to comment below.